What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and the first look at my latest pickup, the Neo Geo MVS 4 slot, Big Red. And this is a cabinet that I've been trying to get a hold of for a very long time. Now, it's not that I haven't seen these things on Facebook Marketplace or show up on auction. They're not the most rare cabinet in the world, but I never seem to have the money or the space to pick one up whenever they do become available. But now, finally, the stars have aligned and I've been able to get my hands on one of these. It's kind of a funny story. Uh, this is the longest drive, the longest road trip I've ever had to pick up a cabinet. I drove from Cincinnati, Ohio to Omaha, Nebraska to pick this thing up. Actually, it was just south of Lincoln, Nebraska. And this is a cabinet, like I said, I've been trying to get a hold of for a long time because this is one of my earlier memories of playing arcades. When you're young and you're playing an arcade game, you don't necessarily remember the cabinet. Sometimes you don't remember the name of the game, but you kind of remember playing the game. This is one of the first times I really vividly remember not just the game that I was playing, but the cabinet itself. 1995 was the year, and I was in basic training. Just finished up the basic training portion going into AIT. This was the school, right? This is the part where they kind of relax some of your restrictions and give you the ability to do stuff. Like go to the PX and you know buy Coke, and go to the USO and play pool. And in the USO, we had some pool tables. We had a lot of fun. We cut up as much as we possibly could. But in the back, amongst the rubble and boxes were a couple arcade cabinets and one of them was a neo geo now i think it was just the four slot that didn't it wasn't the big red didn't have the speakers above it was just a standard red four slot and one of those games was world heroes not the greatest game in the world i know not the most famous game when you think of neo geo that's probably not the first game you think of just world heroes but it was the cabinet it was the controls. It was the look and feel of that game. And then, of course, that was my gateway drug to such great games as Metal Slug, the Samurai Showdown series, uh, and many, many others. Uh, Sengoku is actually, I know it's kind of an oddball series, but that is a really fun side-scrolling beat-em-up. One and two are really good. Three, eh, not so much. But as far as this cabinet, getting my hands on it was fun. Uh, it was conveniently located in the walkout portion of a man's basement which is awesome. He helped me take it out, which was, again, also very awesome. The cabinet is tall, but kind of narrow. So it wasn't the most heavy cab I've ever, uh, I've ever had to move out of somebody else's house. It was 99 degrees, though. Just a small factor. So get the thing all loaded up. I snapped this sweet picture and posted it on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, look at all you're missing. But this cabinet is surprisingly complete. Not 100% all original. There are a few things that are uh, going to be different. The normal stuff, though, in my opinion, like one of the uh, sticks is not uh, standard. That's not the, uh, the original. You've got a couple buttons that are obviously mismatched. Um, a few wires are actually soldered to what I think is the original joystick instead of just like, you know, the crimp on fittings. But other than those very small minor imperfections, uh, I think everything else is complete including the illuminated uh, marquee that when you hit the select button will actually illuminate you know the game you're selecting that thing is sort of notorious for failing i don't know i think it's electroluminescent panels they are original but they don't work and honestly i kind of figured that now there is a great replacement uh that i've already have on order so a little bit of a delay in shipping there uh, i think the the seller is actually changing and moving shops so that may take a little bit to get I'm really excited to get new LED replacement panels to replace those. And that is just going to be one of those really cool, unique Neo Geo features. Something that just sets this cabinet apart. Besides the wild color scheme of red and black and the shape. Pretty cool. Beyond that, uh, everything else is here. The four slot board appears to be, uh, I don't know if it's original to this cabinet, but it is all original. All stock, hasn't been hacked up, no visible signs of anything soldered or disconnected. Uh, the coin door is complete. All the decals, all the side art is original to the cabinet. It's the original silk screen. There have been a few repairs, very small. There's one right here. Um, and I think on the back side, you've got just a little bit. But overall, the cabinet, for the most part, is in really good shape. 
One of those repairs, actually, now that I think about it, is on the very bottom of the cabinet, one of the four feet, one of those posts that actually uh, the feet screw into is broken. So we're going to have to get a little bit creative with that because as you can see, uh, I've got it on wheels now because this thing is, once again, it's not that, it's, it is tall, but it's really not that wide. It's not the most awkward cabinet, but with just a smooth bottom, it is a little bit tough to move around. And when this thing goes into the arcade, I would love to be able to move it from time to time. So it has to go on wheels. But because of that post being broken, I'm going to have to come up with a different uh, way. Maybe a set of those uh, Sega wheels uh, we'll have to do for, uh, for the bottom of this cabinet. But that is a decision I'm going to make at another time. I mentioned the new LED panels are coming. Also, I have a new control panel overlay. It's coming from Quarter Arcades. That thing is supposed to be top notch. And of course, all new buttons, new sticks. We're going to blow everything apart and completely clean it. And uh, another thing that's really cool about this cabinet, something unique to Neo Geo, was the memory card slot on this full-size arcade cabinet. You've got two headphone jacks, one for player one for player two, but then you also have this um, memory card uh, that is all stock from what I can tell, all complete, all the wiring, like I said, is all original. So we're gonna clean that up and obviously leave all that in place. As far as the artwork goes, uh, the side art looks really good. I would like to keep the stock upper pieces of side art, but unfortunately down here, it's not gonna be the case because of some more damage I forgot to mention. On the front, of course, the security bars always covered the, uh, the coin doors and the coin bucket door. So somebody didn't just take the time to gently remove that. They ripped two holes in the uh, actual front of the cabinet. So we're going to have to take off the coin door. We're going to have to fill that with Bondo or wood, uh, wood putty or whatever and sand that completely smooth. And then when I do that, I'm going to have to get a new graphic for the front. Maybe even go ahead and get a new graphic for the uh, memory card slot, which I don't know if this uh, graphic was always yellow or if it turns yellow. Every, every new graphic I see is actually white and red. This is very obviously yellow and red. And considering the fact that it's located down low, uh, you would think that something else on the cabinet would turn yellow before that. Uh, what can you do? It is what it is. And while I would love to turn it on and show you it running the included 161, 161 in one game board that it came with, can't do that. Because while the monitor did work while I was there, once I got here, after 11 hours of driving, I have rattled something loose, and now the monitor will not come on. Yes, I absolutely love CRTs. They're the best. Um, so I'm going to have to get that chassis. I'm going to pull the chassis, send it off, and have somebody look at it to make sure there's nothing wrong with the, ta the chassis. More than likely, some solder joint somewhere has come loose, uh, some cold solder joint maybe, and uh, it's going to have to be reflowed, fixed. It's probably not a component. That's probably something all that it is because this thing, while it was laying down and strapped down and very secure, it did suffer some, uh, some vibration. It is what it is. Another thing to note before I forget, uh, the glass, I believe, is also original to the cabinet because it is tinted. Neo Geo's came with this tinted glass, and this is just one of the coolest cabinets of the 90s. Maybe one of the coolest cabinets ever. And this is my favorite version of the Neo Geo 4 slots. Now, they did have 1 slots and 2 slots and 4 slots. They also had a 6 slot. Yeah, that was crazy. The 6 slot was basically this cabinet just stretched out to accommodate 2 more games on the marquee. The monitor was still the same. Control panel, obviously a little bit wider. That probably would have been excellent for gaming, but to fit in your arcade would have been a challenge. The other four slots didn't have this top part, and uh, the two slots obviously just had two, and then the one slot, this one slot just had a standard marquee with a standard light bulb on the back, and they were cool, they were all red, but they weren't quite as special, in my opinion, as the big red. This is my favorite iteration, my favorite version of this cabinet. So we're gonna have some awesome Neo Geo love in the arcade as soon as I get this thing painted, restored, uh, replace some parts, and get that monitor fixed. And then you'll get to go with me on another journey, and that's trying to find my favorite games, my, my favorite game, cartridges. That is going to be a whole new challenge. But one thing you're going to be happy to know, if you listen to this story at all, is that I do have the 160-in-1 cartridge right here, but 
as soon as I knew I was going to get my hands on this, I did buy one game in particular. And it was that first game that I remember playing on the Neo Geo. And it is an authentic World Heroes cartridge. So once I can see the game, I'll be able to play the game. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out the channel. Let me know what you think about this pickup. Have you ever had the idea of getting a Neo Geo cabinet? If so, what is your favorite version of the Neo Geo cabinet? One slot, two slot, four slot, or the behemoth six slot cabinet? Anyway, once again, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out the channel. Y'all bless day, and I'll see all of you next time.